The second case here, this is a this is the more all-inclusive case. So 63-year-old presents with a few-day history of worsening swelling in the left lower extremity. An IVC filter was placed 17 years ago after trauma, and the left iliac was stented 10 years ago and doesn't recall why. I was uh, sitting in the reading room reading studies one evening, and this was this is how I learned about this patient. An ultrasound was done. I was thinking, okay, the common femoral vein is stented without any flow, but there's flow in the uh, GSV, okay. Um, recommended a CT venogram, and the CT venogram was done, and these are uh, three sequential coronal images going left to right from anterior to posterior. Uh, first image on the left, you got an arrow pointing to the uh, permanent IVC filter, likely a, a trapeze, and then you can see all the uh, hypodensity within it, uh, suggesting the chron chronic uh, material. Um, orange arrows pointing to the stent extending all the way down, and you can see all the material within the stent. And uh, what I don't show is it does extend up to the IVC confluence. The contralateral side was not caged. Um, so axial images lower down, you can see the patient is symptomatic. There, there is subcutaneous edema in the proximal left thigh. There's this blue arrow pointing to calcium within the superficial femoral vein. And then uh, axial image in the pelvis pointing at the stent and you can see the material within it. So the ER asked me what to do about this guy. And I said, send them home on Eliquis and I'll talk to him and we'll figure something out soon enough. Got him a clinic appointment, uh, talked to him about the procedure and then we brought him in. So I initially got popliteal access uh, from the left and this was my initial venogram. And I thought, all right, we're gonna be here for a while. So I got to cross. Um, despite my best efforts, I must have spent at least an hour trying to get up and I couldn't get beyond the uh, proximal third of the thigh or the superficial femoral vein. So the patient had told me others had tried in the past, so I didn't want to uh, labor it too much. So I had a low threshold for stopping and going right IJ axis and coming down from above. So in this setting, I wasn't going to have, um, if I were able to cross the stent, you know, through and through access. Initial venogram from above, I have a, I have a 12 French curved sheath here coming down a catheter just above the stent. You can see there's not much flowing up the IVC, but the suprarenal IVC is clean. I uh, brought my catheter and wire down and ended up doing a sharp recant to get break through the cap here in the stent. And then I got my wire and final image here on the right wire access all the way down. When you can't get through and through access, it, it's very important to use one of those one centimeter floppy tip super stiff amplats wires as opposed to the longer one, just so you have that purchase distally as much as you can get. So my initial venogram here on the uh, left from below the stent, you know, just exactly what you would expect. Nothing really going through the stent, cross pelvic collaterals, and, uh, you know, eventually rec uh, reconstituting the IVC. Uh, once your wire is there, you want to create a channel. I ended up going straight with an eight millimeter balloon to create that channel. Um, so various images here just showing me doing that. And then this is my initial setup. So protrieve above, through and through wire access, and the wire all the way down through the stent. So when, as you advance rub core into place, um, this is uh, bringing it down from an IJ approach, okay? So no through and through access, just working over a, um, you know, super stiff amplots with that one centimeter floppy tip. Uh, you bring it down. I took it uh, sheathed through the filter, and then obviously it's sheathed the entire way. And once you uh, are beyond the target, again, you're taking your distal marker beyond your target. As you unsheath it, you advance your tip of RevCore beyond the target and you unsheath in a pin and pull method. So these are two things simultaneously happening. So it's just like, you know, when you would have deployed a stent in the past, but it's, again, just pin and pull. And then your first pass of RevCore over the wire, you are again feeling for what happens to the device, how it feels like. It's a lot of tactile feedback that you need to interpret. And uh, usually after the ballooning in this, you're, there really shouldn't be much. 
Um, <clears throat> make sure you're not going through a uh, interstice here when you're in the confluence. So sometimes your wire may find that way as you're crossing it. So you know, always use IVIS beforehand. And then once you engage the thrombus, uh, obviously you're at the zero tick mark when you first start. And then I go up by half increments. And before you increase it to the next size, you want to make sure on that previous pass that you didn't see any stent movement or any engagement within the stent, that you didn't see any deformation of the coring element, that the resistance was very minimal, and that the so each tick mark corresponds to a range possibly of of you know uh, diameters. You know at the largest it's twenty millimeters, right? So you still want to make sure that you're going to be smaller than what uh, the actual stent size is or what it was, what the stent size is on IVIS. For example, a 16 millimeter stent may not open up to a uh, 16 millimeters, right? It may be only 12 or 14 uh, due to whatever adjacent compression there was. So you just got to keep that in mind. The rev and scrub technique. So <clears throat> the image here on the right is basically revving. You're revving a motorcycle, right? So. Um, you move it, uh, this is playing actually very quickly, but when you, um, you you rev it and you move it a millimeter or two as you're doing that. And then the scrubbing technique uh, is basically you're just opening it up to a certain size and you're making passes. And of course, you'll go at about one to two millimeters a second or a little bit faster, but um, this is playing quite fast. But just so you know, this is what it would end up being like. And I find that the most of the Basically, what Stephen described, the cheese grating, happens when you're scrubbing. So these were the final results. This was a pre-image uh, pre on the left, and then the image here on the right for the IVIS. Is, you know, it showed us a 70% luminal gain. We went from absolutely nothing, really, to up to 70 millimeters squared. And this is a very, very fresh case. Uh, it's, a, it's a staged approach, so my stent looks much better than it did. I do have flow now through it. Um, I still have to do work with the IVC. Um, I need to just make sure that the patient's going to be very compliant and okay with our plan, and then I'll come back and further reconstruct and possibly remove this filter as well. So, um, you know, more to come on this patient in the future, and we'll see how he does. Uh, key technical points to this uh, procedure are one, uh, the total thrombectomy time using RevCore was about 30 minutes. We kept our ACTs close to 300. Again, aspiration through the protrieve is recommended after each pass, okay? Um, the debris is building up. You don't want it to just sit there and cause some sort of a venous return um, occlusive uh, phenomenon. So just keeping it, uh, keeping that in mind as you're doing the case is important. Um, we talked briefly about anticoagulation, and what I've been doing so far has been I've been switching patients back to Lovenox for at least the next month. Um, we're scrubbing, we're revving. I don't know what degree of inflammation we could might be causing, but um, I'm erring on the side of caution at this point and putting them back on antiplatelet agent if they aren't for at least the time being for one month and then switching back to whatever anticoagulation they were on. Um, I'm finding noncompliance to be uh, the issue in some of my chronically occluded stents as opposed to um, anticoagulation failure.